what up the money my name is john wakego that was toby amusa setting the african record of 12.41 in the diamond league congratulations to toby amusa and nigeria as she prepares for the world championship in oregon also the commonwealth games in uk birmingham 2022 now we're going to start off with the icon the icon 2022 super falcons target 10th title and world cup ticket and the Super Falcons, they are nighttime cha African champions, and also this is um, the 10th time they're going for that tournament. They just hope to clinch that trophy. But other teams are saying, no, you guys bring your, your gay game, we're going to make sure you don't get that trophy. But the Falcons are fully prepared as they jetted out to Morocco for that tournament. Still on the afternoon, Botswana stormed Morocco for Super Falcons. The Botswana female national team have been promised a whopping $21,000 if they can beat the Super Falcons. But hey, Let's see what happens in that decisive uh, game. Um, like I said, um, the Botswana team, they are made up of quality players also, but we just hope the, Fal the Super Falcons get the victory at the end of the day. But they are talking talk, but they are talking talk is cheap. But let's see what happens in that game. Still on the outcome, uh, Plumtree, Odega, and all other players joined. They will join uh, the Super Falcons in Morocco probably later in the month. Uh, the, the tournament is coming up on July 2nd till 23rd. We are wishing the Super Falcons victory as they're going out there and represent Nigeria and also pick up the ticket for the World Cup. Now, away from that, it's Nigeria versus Cordova in the semi-finals for the Waffle B Under-17 tournament right there in Ghana. Uh, the boys, Ndoka Gabbana and his boys are fully prepared probably to clinch that trophy right there in the Waffle Under-17 finals in Ghana. We just wish them well. Now away from that, in boxing, Usyk versus Joshua rematch is coming up in August 20, right there in Saudi Arabia. And remember also, there's somebody waiting on the line, but right now he's, he's on retirement. And that's Tyson Fury. He's saying, whoever wins this bout is going to face me, but I want to whip him 500 million pounds to take on the winner of this fight. We just hope Anthony Joshua gets the victory in that fight. Now still on Tobia Musa, she targets gold in the Stockholm Diamond League coming up later in, the, in, the, in July. We just yeah at the end of the month we just hope she gets that um, done because uh, she says she's in top shape preparing for that tournament um, what she did back there is uh, a good I mean a victory for her also for Nigeria we just hope she repeats the same feat come Stockholm June 30th now the Tanzanians are talking tough they are champions of the Quebeca T20 right there in Kigali Rwanda that was the cricket tournament uh, in Tanzania in, in Kigali that took place some couple of months ago it just ended and the Tanzanian female national team they turned out to be the best but guess what Nigerian players came out four Nigerian players were best uh, players in the tournament at least we, take, we, we brought something back home but we just wish them well so they can prepare for other major cricket tournament coming up later in the year now let's talk to MPFL that Kada trash Aqua United right there I mean it's a debut do your debut they trash Aqua United 3-1 and that's a good game for uh, Dakota because they're somewhere around the relegation zone they just got up the drop zone right now winning that game against Aqua United and shooting stars got an away at a way draw wow that's a good one for shooting stars because they're really they've not been doing well on the road but right now they got a 1-1 goalless draw like the Duke would say anyway um, Enugu United coach, the, the flying mental of the coach in the person of Abdul Maikaba said, we are disappointed, we played the best we can, but we, we, we couldn't win that game. It, it ended 0-0 zero, zero against the league, um, the league um, I mean, the, the possible league title win, winners, um, Rivers United. We just hope uh, Rivers United claim that victory because it's barely four games to go in the MPFL, but uh, they're still right there, uh, still 71 points. And Plato United have a 60 point, that's about 11 uh, points clear. Now, away from that, Israel like this side, the last tie bender, that has been tipped to be the best, one of the best in the UFC. Um, this is the word coming out from Smith Anthony, one of his ex fighters. The guy is saying the style bender Israel like this is one of the best creative fighters in the business. So, um, we just hope, I mean, yeah, he's going for the uh, heavyweight championship, but right now he's in the middle class weight and he's, three, he's a four time champion. He defended his title four times. That's a good one. And he has a record of 22-1. That means he has fought 23 times and won 22. Good one for this last time being the person of Israel as desire. Now, this is, this, lastly, Neketia. Uh, what's his first name? His first name is, um, don't know, I'm going to talk about his first name later. I know somebody's going to be happy when you say Neketia is getting a new um, Jesse number. Jesse number 14. And also, his contract has been extended by Arsenal because last season he did very well, scoring five goals in eight, in eight games. And right now, Arsenal is saying, we still need your services. You're still young, 23 years old. And right now, we give you the iconic Jesse number 14. 
you don't just get in the number number 14 we hope you're gonna re i mean replicate um i mean the person that wore that number which is uh thierry Henry. we just hope you play like Thierry Henry. anyway time will tell anyway guys that's my program uh, and, uh, so much yeah, also. somebody's happy because um, Niketa is getting a new contract. Uh, before we get no, two people are happy actually. Tayo and <laughs> Mr. Tilo right here. Anyway, uh, uh, it's uh, great to see a lot of women uh, doing a lot of mm. things in yep. sports with so yep. to The ladies are taking over. Uh, the country proud at that yeah. athlete yep. meet and uh, the Super Falcons and all the teams that you're doing great things for women. Yeah, nine times African champion that are going for the tenth one. Yeah, it's no mean feat. Mm -hmm. uh, like I always say, the women, I think, are more active uh, in the area of sports for Nigeria and uh, bringing Nigeria more love. Do you believe in that the women are more active than the guys? Well, to some extent, mm -hmm. and to a particular kind of sports anyway. To a particular kind of sport? Yes, like Virtually this. Virtually all sports right now. I, I don't think that. I don't. In the case of men, you know what happened to the basketball team? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the and they were doing extremely mm -hmm. well, you know. But when it comes to athletics, you see that women always go far. Yeah. Yes. No, football. Yeah, football, you have a, football you have, you don't you think that. Uh, football, you can't say that. No, no, because they are trying, but they cannot get to the level of the men. They have never gotten to the I level mean, of the men. <laughs> no, hold on. Let me take him on that. Uh, the ladies have won the Cup of Nations nine times. Uh, How many times do you think the men have won it? You, you cannot compare Three, the two. Three times. In 1980, it, 94, and 2013. You cannot the compare the two games to be the same. You know that okay. of the men are more the physically American challenged. American football team that are earning mm. the same wages as the men. Uh -huh. Because they won more laurels and trophies for their country than the men. <laughs> don't, don't look for what you can get. But, what are you saying? <laughs> about, about women doing I'm not women being gender biased in this case. No, I'm not. Case, I don't want you to get me wrong. Basketball, basketball is basketball. Mm. Uh, uh, athletics is athletics, swimming, wrestling, whatever. And you're seeing women. And guess what? And guess what? Let, let, let me add to that. The first lady that picked up a gold in the Olympic is a woman. Yes. So what are you going to say about that? But the men also pick. You saw that. How many? How many? How many? Men? How many? <laughs> no, you tell me. The men also pick that same year. We're not arguing gender here. Yeah, but I We're think that like my happiness is on two, two ways. Okay. The are they are doing well. Yes, I appreciate them. I appreciate every bit of the step they take when it comes to What about sports. the politics? But, the women? But, but what? No, the politics, they are, they are out of that. They are so the only woman who got the ticket for, um, for the PD, APC primary. Sold it out. Mm. Instead of staying with their tickets, to stand for the women. She sold it out. What does that tell you? That they are not no ready. They are not ready. But <laughs> that's, 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 that's not where I'm going to. Now, where I'm hey, going no, to, the happiness, right the that's happiness, right the happiness right that uh, Rivers United is giving to us at mm. home is yep. very, very good. And then in Ketia, you just mentioned, he's still a younger person. And you saw his performance during the last he's season. He's 23. He's not a younger yes. person. 23, that's the real football time. Okay. You know that very well. And I've just been given number 14, Jesse. I call that number 14. number is enough to push him to do harder because mm. anybody who wore that, who had ever won that, we were seen as icons of the game. Mm. You just talk about Thierry Henry. Yep. So he's moving into that. That alone will tell him the shoe that I'm wearing now would have been bigger so than myself. What are you expecting from Arsenal come the next season? I think that we will try it. You know, probably better than what uh, we did last think, time. Think yes. Your trophy, right? yes, I think so. Because more people are also so coming in. I wouldn't know so because I've not seen the standard yet okay. until I see the first game. Mm -hmm. And the first game is coming on the 5th of uh, August. Okay. When you see the first game, you can now read ahead. Okay. Because the last season, our first game was a flop. Mm. A second and game, the same thing. So it affected. Okay. Yeah, the boys woke up at some point in time to go to the level of uh, being on the fourth on the, okay. the ladder. So I think that. Mm -hmm. But we do okay. well. So yeah, we do well. <laughs> so control your teams and favorites. Right. Anthony Joshua is fighting. To, um, in, yes, in I think uh, that's one more story. Mm. We can just talk about it a bit before we go. And uh, finally, a date has been set, yep. August twentieth. Yep. And um, we, like what I always say, man, the best man win. Uh, after all, it's not like uh, an international thing. It's mm. still an individual thing at the end of the day. So, but, uh, uh, but, but the, the value, value, the the value we got from his victory is much more than the money.
Just like the same football, people go to watch football, spend their time, and they are not getting anything in return. Mm. But the happiness that they're supporting someone who wins, just like in politics too. Okay. So I think if he wins, what I need him to do right now is preparation. Focus. Take yourself off every other thing. Mm. Because you were defeated last time, show that you can also defeat someone. Yep. You can't say he should take himself off every other thing. He watches money. What do you, what do you guys mean yeah. about that? What do you mean by What do you mean about that? He stops watching money. What do you mean about that? Like, um, he should stop. Anyway, that's how we're going to wrap on today's show.